Good morning, 6.20 a.m. on day three. Uh, last night it got pretty, it rained as soon as I got in the tent and then it got pretty cold. So <clears throat> the outside of the rain fly was ice. The tent poles were iced over. Uh, this is pretty cold on the hands packing up this morning. Um, I got a little bit of coyote noise recorded for you, but uh, that was after I got my phone on and uh, and uh, got the video rolling because they were, that's the closest pack of coyotes I've ever had while I was camping. They were loud. Um, they, they sounded like they were probably within uh, 75 yards or so. So that was exciting. Uh, woke up this morning, had my first uh, breakfast essentials with coffee. I think I like it. Just have a bar with that in the morning to get going. Um, it gives you all the nutrients, but it's like a big warm cup of mocha. I like it. Um, all right, well, it's about 17 miles to get into Patagonia today. I'm going to see if I can camp at a little campsite they got on the edge of town and do my resupply and then head off tomorrow. So uh, let's get going. So this shows you how much different the water situation is on this trail this year. Here's a spigot coming out of a big storage tank or two, solar powered. But, and normally people would be taking water out of there, but just below it is this creek running. And it's got probably six inches of water flowing in it. So um, we're very fortunate this year in that we're not having to do long water carries. I stopped here in an open spot about 9.30. Um, got everything laying out, trying to dry. Uh, it got wet again last night. The tent got wet, sleeping bag got wet. So when I packed up the tent, there was a bunch of moisture between the ground cloth and the tent, which is really unusual. 
so I'm going to have Christy research some um, waterproofing or rewaterproofing stuff so that I can uh, get that reconditioned because I think it's just worn out after all the nights I've spent on trail with it. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, okay, well, it's uh, about three miles to the junction to walk into Patagonia and then 6.6 .6 from there. So I think I got about nine, ten miles, ten miles to get into Patagonia today. And uh, we're making really good time. So I should be able to get into the campsite and then get into town for a quick resupply and maybe some Velvet Elvis pizza. And then if I camp there, I'll walk out in the morning and see if I can catch um, the the coffee shop there that has the great breakfast, if I can catch it open. Anyway, uh, it's been marvelous. I'm beginning to hit my stride and understand, you know, what I need to do every day. And that's a blessing. All right, guys. Well, see you down the trail. So right next to each other on the trail are a couple good examples of all the things that wait to poke you on the Arizona Trail. This is Whitethorn Acacia. That's on the right side of the trail. And on the left side of the trail, we have Cat's Claw, and you can see why it's called that. It's got curving thorns that really hang on to you if you try to walk through it. And all these bushes on either side are one or the other. Okay, we've reached the junction where the new trail shown in red on this map started in 2022 goes on north. Um, I'm going to take the old trail into Patagonia and uh, there's a place to camp right outside and food and resupply. That's pretty crazy. Okay, made it to Kershaw Road, and uh, now it's 2.2 miles to the little place I'm going to camp at. So, two miles of road walking until you'll be done. And I think I'm going to be looking for some pizza. I was getting pretty desperate for water. This is like 1.2 miles from the camping area, but there was a right alongside the road, there's a stock tank. So I was able to throw down a liter. That'll get me to camp. Okay, looks like we're getting into Patagonia. Now we just find the house where they're gonna let us camp. Serenity shuttle has landed at Terrasol 
biking and hiking campsite. This has been a fabulous place. Got the tent pitched. They had showers. I'm wearing loner clothes. Um, they had loner clothes. They got a bucket uh, laundry. They got a free Coke. They got bikes to go into town. So I'm going to go into Patagonia and get a resupply and a pizza. And then try to get back before dark. Uh, this place is great.